Hello, veteran Owen Twin here. Welcome back. This is another episode of I Am Setsuna. In the last episode, I did some farting around and explored the Village of Heroes. It's basically the developer room. The 8-bit developer room. It's actually, it was like a cross. It was like a 16-bit graphics with like 8-bit sound, but it was pretty, it pretty kick-ass. Anyways, in this episode, I'm going to start exploring in earnest. I'm going to go around and... Uh, just explore, find shit. Hopefully, find some uh, some recipes. Maybe some people to talk to. Find this location called Klimwak. Hey, look, there's a little boy here. I used to be friends with a monster. None of the grown-ups believe me, though. He used to get really bad headaches sometimes. He said he could hear voices. One day he told me he ran away and jumped in the lake and died. I wonder why he did it. Oh, what a sad story. Doesn't this game have any happy stories? It's always sad, sad, sad. But I, I guess that's kind of what the, to you know, the tone they were going for, I suppose, so... That makes sense. Again, I think this is one of these random locations that uh, serve no purpose. And if it does serve a purpose, it is unbeknownst to me at this time. Maybe it's part of a, a secret quest you gotta find, I don't know. The only side quests that I found online now as of this recording that people are starting to post is uh, like the character side quest where you can get like a better weapon for them and uh, you know shit like that yeah okay there's nothing here do like the music do like the piano theme playing here I thought I saw some over here, but no, that was just the snow. Oh, no, I did see some. Holy shit. Damn, man. I didn't see that one until it bit me in the face. Okay, I guess that's all we can do here, so onward. Onward to new adventures. That is a uh, random and abandoned village. You know what? I'm going to go there again. Yeah, this is the one that's just northwest of uh, Gatherington. And I keep thinking that there's gonna like a secret around here, like a chest or something to hide uh, or find, I should say, behind these buildings or something. But as it turns out, I don't think there is anything. At least I'm hoping there's something later. But right now, it's not looking good. Okay, this is a brand new kind of island that I've been to yet. So let's check it out. Heavenly something or other. 
whatever. Found something. Having problems seeing some of these items. For some reason. So yeah, I, get, I feel like this game gives you, uh, you know, it's just like the old RPGs that, that allow you to explore the world and, uh, and find new things. Except at this time, as of this recording, there's literally hardly any information at all about this game and what you can do and what you can find and... Dying man, my village was destroyed by monsters and all because of that jewel. The magical energy inside it drew the monsters to the village. I stole it and tried to get rid of it, but it was already too late. I too will soon die and I will carry my regrets to me to the, to the afterlife. Okay, well that's, that's fucking sad, dude. Yeah, that's another one of them ruins we can we can go to. I'm not gonna go there first for sure. I'm gonna wait till later. Uh Okay, now that's that shore. Hemcot Island. Uh, I don't want to go here yet. I remember there's a side quest later on that uh, we're gonna have to come here later, anyways. This I know for certain. Now, Hemcot Island, this forest right here. This is actually the forest that en Endo was uh, traveling through at the very, very beginning of the game. Uh, when he talked to that fucking uh, mysterious man, or whatever his name is. Alright, there's Nive Island. All in good time, all in good time. Where's the, uh, where's the other stuff flying around here? Airship theme is great too. Guess there's nothing there. Yeah, sometimes there'll be ingredients. Like up here. This is it. these are areas that we couldn't access before. But now they might have stuff to find, like ingredients and whatnot, so I'm gonna take a look around here. Oh, Some of it might be kind of hard to see. Oh, no, I see one. Sunset Citron. I think I already got that. Or maybe it's a different kind of Citron. But, whatever. If I did already have it, now I got two. again yeah there's no map in this game either so I don't know how the hell 
you're supposed to be able to tell where stuff is on, you know, in this game, because, like I said, there's no fucking map. Oh man, even Chrono Trigger had a map. I don't know why they didn't put one in. Okay, that that's fucking uh, Tenderville. And here's a new island. Turbulous Island. Oh, found something there. By matching the button, because I sure as shit couldn't see it. Damn clouds are in the way. I can't see a damn thing, man. This is like fucking whiteout conditions almost. Anybody here? Damn, dude. It's fucking depressed. No, I didn't want to leave. Go back in there. Oh, there is somebody here. Fuck. My village was attacked by monsters. While it was under attack, one man betrayed his fellow villagers and stole a jewel from the village. The village was destroyed. I no longer have anywhere to return to or any family to speak of. Finding that man and seeing him punished is now my only reason for living. Yeah, well, we met the guy already in the other area, so you want to hop aboard our airship so you can see him die? I mean, I don't understand... I mean, those, those, these two guys, they're obviously linked, but does it have anything to do with anything at all? I mean, can we bring that guy to meet the other guy and then him say thanks to us and give us, like, you know, something for it? Or how does that work? Maybe we got to do something else to trigger the quest if there is one. Yeah, just speculation, folks. I don't know what's going on. Dumpling eggplant. Yeah, we're not done collecting recipes, as far as I can tell. Alright. That's Flano Flonea, and there we go, and we are again. Anywhere else I can go. Not there. land here and get some fucking ingredients if I can, right? Uh, that's the Mubeld Ruins. What's in there? I haven't a clue, man. And if you're leaving comments telling me about this stuff, well, this is Vet from the Past, and Vet from the Past has not gotten your comments yet. Vet from the Future might know a little bit more, you know, when you leave comments telling me stuff, but as of right now... As of this recording, 
I don't know what the fuck is going on. Ancient silver pots. Anything else like that. Yep, last lands. King Onion. I think I have one of those already. Lanif Ruins. Mountain range. Is there anything here? Not a thing. Wait, I haven't been here yet. Craigholm Island. Eskimo Bean. Dude, there's nobody here. Dude, this has got to be a part of a quest later on, man. Why would they have this shit with nobody here at all? I mean, they didn't, they didn't just make this to have just, just an empty fucking thing out in, out in the middle of nowhere, right? Snowfield house, man. Alright. Well, that's the end of that. Anything else? Oh, I was already there. Yeah, we've been there. And yeah, this game, I didn't mention it before, but for some reason, the world is flat. I'm not sure why they designed it like that.
Why would you design a world that is flat? Yeah, you can bump into the end of it. That doesn't make any sense. Hell, even the fucking earliest NES games, like Final Fantasy, you can fucking go around the world. Unless this is a plot thing. Unless we're like in like some kind of maybe maybe this world is in a crystal ball or something like that and you know we we just can't escape. Maybe they're gonna reveal that in Setsuna 2 when they come out with that game. Why is it we can't actually fly around the world? Alright, well, I, I guess I've done pretty much everything I can do in the outskirt areas. Alright, so let's check out... Yeah, basically now on uh, Nive Island, before we couldn't actually get ingredients... Well, now we can go around and get ingredients. Isn't that nice? I think it's nice. Mighty Melon. <laughs> Arctic Cauliflower. Hey! Nice. Maybe I can actually get that lady to make me Arctic Cauliflower now. You know that old lady in the beginning of the game? I remember that for some reason. I don't know why I remember that. But I do. Alright, so let me try something here. Let me save my game real quick. Yeah, I'll save it with that one. Now, I think you need to have Endo in your party to trigger this side quest. At least that's what they're saying online. I'm going to test it here. Maybe you do. Okay. Well, maybe you do. Hold on. Let me put Endo in there. Okay. Yes, sir. <laughs> I am leaving this to you as I believe you have the potential to make use of it. As you perhaps know, in these lands there are three important altars. It is said that if you hold up this Sprit Knight Stone at those altars, you will receive guidance for the future. First, you should visit the altar in Serendale, which isn't far from here. Next, the altar on the Morbris Mountain. Then finally, the altar in the Himcot Forest. That's what I was talking about earlier when I said I'll come back, or I'll be coming back to the Himcot Forest, is basically what I meant. We'll be going there anyway, so I figured I might as well uh, just skip that until I acquired this little quest. When you require guidance for the future, please remember this letter. I hope that the wisdom of the ancients can give you strength and shine a guiding light towards the future. So we get the Nameless Sprit Knight. Uh, I think I know who it might be. I think it's, yeah, I think it's that old man from the very beginning of the game. Uh, that other masked old man. No, it wasn't a woman. And again, I haven't done this quest, but I'm thinking it's that guy. Yep, Serendale. 
Now I'm not sure if you have to do this in, uh, well, maybe you have to do it in, in the order that we're told. But I'm not sure. Ridiculous. Get bent, fool. Yep. Sealed chest. Let's go ahead and give him this recipe. Blah, 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 blah. Yeah, all right. And in this chest, we get Orichalcum. Now, I believe Orichalcum is the best tempering item in the game, I think. Maybe there's something better. But uh, I'm going to hold on to those for later. Alright. So, yeah, there's another quest that we can get at Nye Village. I'll do that. In the next episode, this is Veteran Owen 21. I'd like to thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time.